Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to quickly create and set up Spring Boot project in Eclipse IDE. So first we will create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and then we will import and set up Spring Boot project in Eclipse. Okay. So in order to create and quickly bootstrap Spring Boot project, we are going to use Spring Initializer. So open your favorite browser. So I am here, I just open Chrome browser here and just type Spring Boot Initializer go to the Spring Boot Initializer website so Spring Initializer is a website through which we can quickly create and bootstrap Spring Boot project so this is the user interface of Spring Initializer website and Spring Boot Initializer provides different options here so look at here there, there are two types of projects either you can select Marvin or Gradle so we are going to use Marvin project so let's keep Marvin project as it is and here are the couple of languages java kotlin groovy so we are going to use java so let's choose java here and this is a spring boot version so let's keep default as it is because this is a stable and latest release of spring boot and this release recommended by spring boot team and here we have selected Marvin project so let us uh, fill up this project metadata okay so let's go and let's give a group id as com dot spring boot and artifact id as spring boot first app okay we can give any artifact id that you want and artifact id is nothing but our application name this is name of the project and description and package let's keep com dot spring boot dot tutorial or let's keep com dot spring dot app okay and packaging as a jar so we are going to run our spring boot application uh, in a standalone mode so let's keep jar option as it is and let's keep java 8 as a and look at here this is the dependency section here basically we can select the spring boot starter dependencies for example if you want to build a web application or restful web services then you can choose spring web starter dependency and you can look at here this is description of this dependency we can use spring web starter dependency to build a web applications as well as restful web services and this spring web starter dependency provides a embedded default tomcat server okay and let's pick up this dependency because we are going to create a simple restful web service to test our spring project in eclipse id all right and if you want to work with a hibernate or any database then you can just select here for example i am going to use mysql then you can choose mysql driver and if you want to use postgres then just type postgres here and if you want to use hibernate then, then just type uh, spring data jp dependency okay so you can choose uh, the dependencies that are required for your spring boot project okay so as of now we are going to create a simple restful web service and that's why i have just picked this one dependency that is spring web starter dependency and look at here the, here are a, a few buttons so this is a generate button so this will generate our spring boot project as a zip file and it will download on your our local machine this is explore button we can explore our current project and this is a share so we can share the project as well so let's click on explore here you can see here we can explore the different files here so this is a pom.xml we can see what are the dependencies and how the pom.xml looks like we can also download this file we can also copy the content of this file and here we can also explore uh, project structure here all right close this and we are going to generate this project as a zip file so let's go ahead and let's hit generate button so this will generate uh, basically this will download our project as a zip file on our local machine so look at here so let's go ahead and let's open in a folder so let's go ahead and let's extract this project all right now what we'll do we'll import this project in eclipse id go to the eclipse id and in order to import existing mine project you can either right click here and choose import or you can go to the file and you can just click on import and here just type marvin 
and choose existing mine project so we are going to import existing mine project browse and go to the location where we have downloaded the project in a download section this is the spring boot first app select folder and look at here pub.xml is imported and hit finish so this will import our spring boot project in eclipse id okay and this is the pub.xml here you can see the required dependencies are added okay and this is the default structure of our spring boot project and under resource folder you can see application.properties here you can configure all the application level configurations and this is our main entry point of our spring boot application so this class is annotated with add spring boot application annotation and this annotation internally you know uh, provides three annotations that is add configuration at enable auto configuration and add component scan annotation okay you will learn all about these annotations and uh, more about spring boot in further videos now what we'll do we'll run this spring boot project in order to run this spring boot project so look at here this class has a main method so we can run this application as a java application right click and java application so look at here our spring boot project is up and running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 okay so this is how we basically create spring boot project using spring initializer and we import spring boot project in eclipse id now let's quickly create a rest api and let's test our spring boot setup in eclipse id so what we'll do create a class here and let's name it as welcome controller all right let's annotate this class with at the rate rest controller annotation all right and let's go and let's create a simple rest pool web service uh, public to keep it simple i am going to return a string so let's call a method as welcome here and let's annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation so this will basically handle get http method okay and here we provide a url uh, slash welcome okay and this will return a string like welcome to spring boot app development something like this all right so this is a pretty simple welcome rest api which will return a welcome to spring boot app development string now let's quickly go ahead and let's run the spring boot application and let us test this rest api from the browser so look at here our spring boot application is up and running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 let's open a chrome browser here and just uh, type localhost 8080 and then type welcome here so look at here welcome to spring boot app development so this is the string that printed on a web page okay so this is how basically we create a spring boot project using spring initializer and we import spring boot project in eclipse id and we have created a simple rest api to test our spring boot project setup in eclipse id all right so you can follow the same steps i hope you found this video tutorial useful subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video